Today we will continue with the mouse. I did open it up and I found that inside the wheels that made contact with the ball had a lot of sludge on them, as happens. So, um, now to start off, I don't think anything I did is going to make much difference. What I did, essentially, as we see the mouse here, is I opened it. When I took off the little lid, I took out the ball, and inside, which I know is very hard to see, there are three little wheelie things. There's one on the side. There's one on the top, and there's one for the diagonal movement. And, um, you know, after a while, they get residue upon them. So, I went at the residue, and they're a lot shinier than they were. Usually it ends up there's thick black lines right around the middle. So, but based on, now the other thing is, this mouse has these two little extra pads. I'm not sure why, and I'm not sure they're helpful. But anyway, what we're going to do today is plug in the mouse. And we will load up. first program on the mouse testing disk and we will go for the better mouse driver and we are in port one when I say so there is the pointer so after all the tidying and all the cleaning Well, this perhaps will work better as a mouse pad. It's a little different, but really much the same. And look as it vanishes off the screen. <sighs> is not working well at all. Let us try again. Uh, I think we will try the educational demo program. I think we shall. But I think what we're going to find is it doesn't really matter which of these is a triangle? I'm sure. All right. See, it's no matter what I do, it's just not. It's perhaps a hair better, but it just you know what? Eventually, it just runs off the side of the screen. So even though this mouse may look pretty good cosmetically, it's not happening. It just is not happening. Which... Oops. Which is too bad. But... What are you going to do? Um... So we still have, what do we have here? We still have a Commodore 64. That is not working. The PLHF is bad. Um, missing a serial cable. I have extras. Uh, data set seems to be working. Mouse, not so. Disk drive, yes, disk drive is just dandy. 
So, um, I don't think these things are going to make any difference, or I'm just going to leave them because, well, you know. So you can't win them all. Now, do I have other mice around? Probably. Do they work? Possibly. Um, this is a mouse for the Commodore 64 and the 128. Mostly to be used with Geos, which I hate and despise. And, uh, you know, to me, way back when, Geos just took the friendly Commodore 64 and turned it into some alien beast that then did things differently and not necessarily better. Um, and I suppose one of the things that got me more, see, when showing a program, I, when I would do a demonstration, I would always set out to say, okay, here is something we want to do, and how is it that we do it? So I once went and spoke at a show in San Francisco, of all places, and the presenter before me was doing something on Geos, and he wasn't doing anything useful, particularly. He was just going through each option of the menu and saying, oh, look, here's a menu option. Let's go through it. And people were sitting there. So not only that, but he went late showing this dribble. And I was too polite to say, hey, get off the stage, I'm up here. Um, it got worse. Because as I, my shortened time, I was supposed to be there for an hour, it was probably down to 40 minutes, as my shortened time was coming to an end, the next person to speak was the same person about Geos, and he was very loud, vocal, and boisterous about me cutting into his time. And I remember, I said, oh, because I, I mean, I was getting there. I had showed a lot of things, it was on a terminal program, and I had talked, and it had gone well, and there was lots of feedback and questions, and everything was going fine, but I wasn't finished. So I remember I said something like, well, it seems I've got to get off here because uh, Mr. Geos is back. And way in the back, some little old man yelled out something. It was, well, the first word started with F, and the last word was him. Um, and because they had been through the previous thing and they had seen what had happened and how he was not caring about everybody else's time, but he was so anxious to have all of his. So I kept going for another 10 or 12 minutes. I did. Anyway, but is that why I hate Geos? No, not really. I just, I just never found it beneficial, helpful. It wasn't, to me, a great step forward. Anyway, so, unfortunately, we have a sick mouse. If only Sheldon was here, maybe he could chase it back to life. Sheldon! No, Sheldon is not coming. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Let's just see. Anyway, um, so I guess we're going to carry on with something else and put this mouse away. So, until we meet again, bye for now.